hey 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 what's going on with my beautiful people today yeah you yeah you shining bright not letting anybody dim that light right motivational moment okay so motivational moment hmm distraction all right so motivational moment protect your beautiful energy protect your energy protect your light protect it is precious everybody don't deserve everybody don't need to have access to you and your energy your energy on so many levels I mean I don't think people realize the dynamics of energy energy can heal energy can save energy can can release energy can cleanse you know energy can build energy can um change your mood it's so many different things that you and i can do with our energy but oftentimes we don't realize what we have other people on the other side of the spectrum know more about energy and how to access energy and what to do the good aspects of harnessing energy and taking it and doing things with it and ma manifesting and growing it and altering it but those for those of us who possess that raw energy we often have the short end of the stick because we don't really know what we have on the inside of us it's just energy it's just us no it's more than that you can build wealth with energy energy is everything energy is money energy is time energy is effort energy is strength energy is everything we as a collective just need to learn how to utilize our energy to our benefit and stop letting other people access us take from us manipulate us use us and abuse us for our energy source because we don't see the value we don't know the value the only thing we know is that we're depleted we feel the after effects of it but we don't know what to do with our own energy so i post to you today to learn about energy to learn about your energy how potent it is why are people willing to stalk why are people willing to steal why are people willing to destroy you over your own energy why it's got to be something to this and i ask and i motivate you to find the answers so you can utilize your own energy for your benefit all about the healing look at here ride and dies mwah, mwah, mwah. for those of you that are here for the first time let me roll it back my ride and dash that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time thank you 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 now for those of you that are here for the first time, just seeing my seeing my face for the first time, feeling my presence for the first time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
I ask that you hit the subscribe button so we can be do this thing together. I ask that you like the video so my it can hit the algorithm and we can go from there. I ask that you put a comment in and just let me know did you did, did how you liked it here. Uh, just asking for those things uh, out of gratitude to you. Thank you for being here. All right, so we are honoring honoring the sign of Saggy. Bam, 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 bam. That is Sag. All right, I haven't did a Sagittarius reading in a long, long time, and God be with me. As I speak, speak through me. That whoever he hears this message, that they are getting what they need. They get in an answer. They get in a nudge. They get they getting the confirmation that's needed. It is so so be it Ashe Samoda be. All right, so what we have is your overall energy. It says, take some time to rest and rejuvenate. You need to place yourself for the, you need to pace yourself for the, cha for the changes that are coming your way. They are all positive. Bigger and better. Bigger and better things are coming for you. Just relax and trust. Okay. You have discovery. You have Venus retrograde. You have collaboration. You have courthouse. And then I have some other ones there that I'll pull up. But just to start off. I feel like. You've already rested. I feel like you've been in a holding pattern. I feel like you've been holding, been in this holding pattern in hermit mode, a severe hermit mode for quite some time. Discovering yourself, trying to come up with different ideas, balancing yourself out, um, healing, reassessing your life the people in your life you've been doing quite a bit of meditation um, you just been doing a lot with your time alone and when I say severe when I say severe hermit mode, I mean you are, you've cut quite a few people, family, friends. Um, you have very limited, people have very limited access to you at this time. Where you are, Sagittarius is outgoing social butterfly the life of the party hot and popping let's get it started um you reeled a lot of that in sagittarius is a very spiritual very um spiritual minded person and in this time in your life, you have really, really reeled in. You've been very serious and dedicated and very mindful about the steps that you want to take. The steps you want to take to, for the betterment of you and the betterment of your future. In the past, you've had a lot of people, places, and things come at you 
trying to one up you or trying to take from you or trying to make your life difficult so you sh have shut down a lot to balance your life where it is people don't have access to you anymore they can't tap into you they can't tap into your energy they cannot they they can't they 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 can't cuz they when they try they 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 go they come into a roadblock they have no access to you because you have shut it down that's what this that that's what i'm getting for the overall energy you have shut everything down and now you are in discovery you have been in discovery mode discovery mode meaning new ideas meeting new people and meeting these new people um and opportunities it's very limited but these new people that are coming in is being vetted they can't come into your space or come you still in hermit mode but you open to new possibilities new opportunities new people the old people, anybody that you already know, is limited or is blocked. These new opportunities, see, Sagittarius is too, they're not, Sagittarius is not going to allow opportunity allow people to block their opportunities so yeah they in hermit mode but if an opportunity comes in it's going to be vetted before it is released or it's going to be vetted for further for for further assets is it going to be assets is it going are you going to take it are you going to roll with it it has to be vetted it's not it's not going to be taken lightly like normal because it is still work that needs to be done goals are are being met a sagittarius that's in hermit mode they still working they still processing they still doing their mind is still going they just they just very very mindful every step they take they're very mindful where ordinarily a sagittarius that's not in hermit mode they're very free free flowing you can approach them you can you can you know come to them you can do whatever you're going to do they, you know they're very open free but when a sagittarius have shut them have shut it down you're not getting in. You're not, you're not getting in. And if you do get in, you think you're getting in, you're really not. They already know who you are, what they going, they just going with the flow. They, they, they ain't got to speak on it. A, a mature Sagittarius, they ain't got to speak on it. They can let you yap, 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 yap. And in the back of their mind, they already know what the deal is. They going to tell you what, what they want you to know. They're going to roll with it the way they rolling with it. You think you got the upper hand, but you don't. They see you. They see you. Not here, but here. Very spiritual. They have been in this discovery mode. Discovering what their life is, what their life was, and where they are going in their life. They're no longer dealing with people with insecurities, problems, issues, blaming, victim mentality. They're no longer they're no longer being bothered with that. No longer. This can be Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It can be Cross Watcher that's dealing with a Sagittarius, or you 
are in Sagittarius energy. Okay? You could be another sign, but you rocking with this energy. Sagittarius not dealing with nobody with insecurities with their body. Not dealing with that. Jealousy, envy, trying to one-up you, trying to uh 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 trying to uh take take your energy, trying to do, you know, they not dealing with that. People that's not worthy. People that has low self-esteem and uh, have no self-worth and value of themselves. Not dealing with that. People who have problems with their own sexiness or preference. Not dealing with that. Okay? Like I said, no collaboration, no access. Sagittarius that I'm talking to right now, nobody has access to you. These people are wanting to know what you're doing. You in severe hermit mode. You're not letting people know what you're doing. You're not letting people know what your goals are, what your dreams are. You're not letting people know if you're in a relationship. You're not letting people know your business at all. It's as if you just fell off the face of the earth. They can't find you. If they remote viewing, they 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 and lost it. They and lost access. They don't know what's going on. And if they are getting it, it's wrong, mixed up, scattered energy. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. They get in the aspect of you, but they never get the true, authentic you and what you actually are doing and how you really feel. No, never. The answer is no to collaboration. You will not collaborate with nobody. Not now and not in the near future. Right now you are in severe. I'm talking to a Sagittarius that's in severe hermit mode. And you will be in this hermit mode until justice is prevailed. All the people's places and things that keep trying to come at you, keep trying to, to take from you, rob you, steal from you, hurt you, harm you. You love them. You send them love and light. And sometimes you get mad with them. But you learn it to balance all of that out. And not let it control you and change your destiny. But you're learning how to adapt to all of this energy. Clean it up. Transmute it. And be able to set yourself back on track to becoming a better version of you. Where people keep projecting keep hating keep trying to hurt you you transmute you transmute you transmute because you're waiting on spiritual justice you have rendered judgment and you're waiting for justice to prevail on your behalf because you already know that vengeance is not yours it's God's so you don't have a heaven or hell to place anybody in and you, and you don't have any control to stop anybody from the things that they do to you however God has given you a way to escape and you're utilizing and you're protecting and in that protection you are elevating in spite of these people and what it is that they project and what they send to you on a daily basis 
because justice will prevail in divine timing. It's a time and a place for everything. And it's been a long time coming. You've been, this has been a long time. This ain't been no couple of weeks, a couple of months. This has been going on for a long time. And you okay. Like I said, sometimes you get mad, sometimes you get weary, sometimes you get tired, but you reel all of that in. You reel all of it in and get back to being balanced and control of your emotions and your feelings. And you go back. And every time you go back and you reel it in, you come up with great ideas goals, dreams, ambitions that nobody can take away from you. They don't know about it. They don't know about it. They're not going to know about it until it pop off. That's how powerful that you bring fear to these people. They fear you because they just don't know what you're thinking, what you're doing. All they know is that that's a lot of power and anointing that's on your life. And that you brewing up something. You doing something. Something is getting ready to happen when a Sagittarius is in hermit mode, something is getting ready to brew. Something is getting ready to happen. And they will not be able to stop it or block it. Because you have shut this thing down. And where they may have tapped into your energy and have gotten some information, they'll never get the full picture. And you need the full picture when dealing with a Sagittarius. Because if you don't, you will come out doing everything. Putting a whole lot of energy and effort in one thing. And Sagittarius is way down there doing another thing. So, they already know all into that because they had already been down this road. And you've already done that. So this is why they want to collab. They want to come in. But you have shut everybody down. And it's limited. Limited access. Alright. So. Now this is the part. I got this part. But this part right here. I, I didn't understand. So I had to do some cards. Do, do, do more cards. Okay. So I asked, okay, so what is all of this about? Why do you need justice? What's what's going on? What happened? I got divine masculine. So when I got this card, I was like, what? Divine masculine? Where is this coming from? Divine masculine in the upright. I was like, I, I, I got to get some more cards. So what's going on? So then I get soulmate. Now I'm not reading these right here in the in the in the reverse. But I left this here because I needed to understand why did this come out? Okay. So, what's happening here is that you're not collaborating and nobody has access to you and they don't know what you're doing. So, You got somebody that is wanting to come back in because they can't, they don't have no other way to access you. You've shut everybody down. This person wants to come back in as if they're your divine masculine, but they really not. They are karmic soulmate. They're karmic. It's a karmic soulmate that think that they're going to be able to come in and present themselves as a divine masculine. And this, so I said, okay, well, what else is, is this? This person has a health issue. 
this person that wants to come in that's karmic there's something wrong with them now it's that's two things they either want to come in and collaborate collaborate with you to get in your energy field to be healed or they want to come in collab with, with you and um, give you a sickness but whoever this person is they karmic they haven't learned their lessons and because you learning your lessons is because you're taking the time to spend time with yourself to learn about you what it is that you want to do with your life they want to come in and sabotage you mm -hmm. and set you back so then I said okay so this is who's tied to this person they have a karmic mature woman an older woman that's attached to this person and this person here this divine masculine which is a karmic soulmate is tied to this person but walked away from this person trying to walk away from this person because this person has been manipulating this person, mind control over this person, and has been um, really, really doing some bad things to this person. But now it came in, this one also came in the reverse. This person has no control over this individual anymore. And so this individual want to come in now since this person don't have control and this has ended in some type of way maybe a divorce this person wants to come back in with all of this baggage and lay it on you to clean it up that is the energy that's waiting that's fighting against you the sag the one that's in hermit mode the one that is trying to balance and heal and get themselves together you have someone on the outside that's looking at you that's trying to insert themselves back into your life for to for you to to use and manipulate your energy for their benefit then it's not just that person because the, the the mature woman has shown up the mature woman is baggage that's that's his baggage that if you were to ever get with this person they carry in baggage that you will have to deal with as well so you will have that and their baggage and that manipulation energy that you would have to clean up right now it's not the time even though I know even though I know that there is love there is commitment this ain't the time for you to be looking for it because this is the time for you to look within, stay within, keep your peace, your joy, your contentment to yourself. What's out there, they're waiting. They're waiting. When you come out of hermit mode, they're waiting. They're waiting to present themselves and it's not, it's all a facade, it's an illusion. It's going to take you to be very mindful to all people, places, and things that come in your energy field. And you're not going to be able to take anything lightly. It is a game to be played. 
And like I said in the beginning, your energy is everything. Everything. You can heal. You can transmute. Your energy is everything. People didn't realize about you until you stepped out. Until you stepped away. Until you walked away from these people. And they didn't have your energy anymore. Then they realized who you are. That they could that your energy couldn't compare to anybody else's. You have to protect it at all costs. Or you're going to spend the rest of your life cleaning up everybody else's energy, everybody else's karma, every everybody else's stuff. You're going to be cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. You have to protect and not fall for the foolishness that's out there. Because there's a lot of foolishness that's out there. The people from the past, they had their time. You wish them well. You send them love. But to come back in, no, 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 no. You had your time. My time right now is my time. I'm, it's precious and it's valuable and it's going to be protected at all costs. And are they going to be, are they going to take it well? No. No, they're not going to take it well. No. But like I told, either a collective or another sign, you need to hold space for the ethers, the power and authority that God gave you in the ethers. You need to hold space and believe and step into that. And when you step into that, can't nobody touch you. You are high ranking. And you need to pull rank every time you, every chance you get, you need to pull rank because that's what this is. It's a power struggle. It's about who got the most power. It's a game to be played. Well, they're playing the game. You trying to live your life in spite of them. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I ask that you like the video. I ask that you share the video so the videos can, somebody else can hear it. Somebody else can get the message because we are a team. It's going to take all of us. As you, as the, the, the channel grow, then we grow. We grow. Because we resonate. We're soul family. We resonate. As the channel grow, you grow, we grow, we stand. And when we stand, we are powerful all together. Not looking at someone is better, somebody is more. No, we are a team. All of us have a part to play. We got to start somewhere. So, like share comment let me know that you appreciate these messages that this this resonated with you that i'm not just wasting my time let me know all right so with that being said i'm sending you love i'm sending you healing and trinity is I